Hi, welcome back to another Figma Friday. I'm John Golson with Rocksaw Studios, and today I'm gonna to go over Figma's commenting tool. So as you can see here, I have this file open. And often we're asked, uh, how can I leave comments by, by clients or by coworkers, um, people that are collaborating on the project? Um, you know, some people are used to things like tools like Miro, where there's a, uh, a post-it type situation. And there is something actually similar in, um, in Figma. So if you look at the tools that are up here in the toolbar, in the very end, there's this one that looks sort of like a word balloon from a comic strip and it says, add comment. And all I have to do to leave a comment is click on that. And then I get a dropper. And I can actually add the dropper anywhere to uh, the Figma board. Actually, there's a comment right there that someone wrote. But I can, I can drop the comment anywhere here on the Figma board. The thing that you have to remember, though, when you drop a comment is it's not going to tie it necessarily to the object. It's going to live in that space on the board. So, for instance, if this object gets moved, the comment's going to stay where I stuck it. It's not going to stick to the actual object itself. Um, but I just click here and then add a comment. I can also hit the at key and bring up a list of contacts. Um, and when there is a comment that's left behind, I'll say change this blue post. And now this comment is, uh, it should appear over here when I click the comment balloon. You can see it on the list I have here. It says change this blue. When I open that comment, uh, I can change the blue and then resolve, or I could reply to whoever left the comment. Um, in this, I'm going to resolve it because we don't need to see this comment here anymore. And once I've resolved it, the comment actually disappears, but it still lives in the history um, under earlier comments. So the other thing that you can do that we leave for our team members sometimes is just um, notes on the page. Now, this particular workspace is sort of locked down, so I wouldn't necessarily, uh, you know, do this in a, in a real world situation. But if you're still in an environment where people are working together and collaborating, there's certainly nothing wrong with kind of going old school, leaving a big note uh, next to someone and often I'll mark it red or some bright color so someone knows it's, um, that it's definitely meant to be something that's corrected. Uh, and that way, you know, if, if you're still in a, if you're still in a, um, in a project where you're very, it's very early in the collaboration and people are kind of going in and out of the file, notes like these are really, really important. I have also left notes like these for development, not as comments, but as notes to say, oh, when someone clicks here, it goes to this particular screen just so that they, there's no question when they look on a surface level. So it depends on what kind of comments that you, you want to leave. I personally find that leaving these drop comments are great for creating a checklist of revisions. Um, and then I, I find that in my workflow, leaving larger uh, text comments beside objects is better for um, handoff and things, you know, little notes and things that you want uh, to convey to someone who might not be clicking into these individual drops, but might just be looking at a surface level. So thank you for watching another episode of Figma Fridays. My name is John Golson. I'm Senior UX with Rocksaw Studios. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, or subscribe, or drop us a line at hello at rocksawstudios.com. Thank you. I'll see you next time.